Rick works while I take selfies today. Just one or two. <laughs> anyway, we're making a fuel cell right now. And you'll see right there is a bunch of material. And uh, yeah, we're looking at some, some CAD that I modeled up a long time ago. As in like three days ago. We're getting to work. We've got a time lapse, so we'll see how, what a disaster that is. But see you soon. Um, so right now we're actually cutting the top of the tank. And uh, what I did is I modeled this up in a CAD modeling software. Um, and then, um, you know, we just started knocking it out out of some 90 thou aluminum. We're using 5052, I think. So um, I want to say right here we were cutting the top and everything was all good. But this was the first piece we did and the first piece we messed up. So we actually went through and um, remeasured, recut. And as you can see, um, we went through and we were able to move forward uh, without too much of a problem. And so we had... Um, you can see on the right hand side right next to the man door there is a, a, a glimpse of a window right there and you can see it slowly getting darker into the evening um, and by the time this video or this uh, time lapse is done it'll be black outside so um, we continued on and got the rest of the panels cut it took us a little bit of time and honestly I thought I had way more material than I needed um, and even with the one panel that we screwed up we ended up going back and using that panel for another piece so we didn't waste too much material there but you know sometimes that happens and um, we just rolled with it but I was really surprised that by the end of it we got hey we're checking all of our phones right there by the time we got to the end of it we were pretty much uh, pretty much out of material we had a few small pieces left so um, got real lucky in that we didn't really screw anything else up there was one other panel that we had a little bit of an issue with um, but no big deal and it looks like we're about done cool so we have a fuel tank and uh, we have uh, what was it eight Eight and a quarter gallons. Yeah. Eight something. Seven. Seven. Thirteen. Just under. Just under eight. It 26. was like seven. Seven seventy-eight. Something like that. Let's pull up the render. Uh, eighteen forty-two cubic inches. One, eight, four, two, seven point nine seven. Okay, a little over seven. A bit over seven. Cool. That's bigger than we expected. I expected anyway. So uh, we'll have a lot more fuel and we got to add um, a hole for the top for the, um, actually we should do that before we do other fabrication on it so that we can use it as an access hole. Um, yeah, we've got a billet cap. Actually, we should put that on right now because I want to make sure it'll clear. <laughs> it should, we've got a lot of room here. We've got enough room here for, um, yeah, this is, an analog to what the sheet metal is going to look like so oh it's going to be so much nicer to fill it too oh. it's not going to be like sunk way down in there i'm not going to know where to put the can when i put it in you'll figure it out <laughs> cool well big project for tonight and uh we made our way through most of it we've obviously got to get it tacked up it's only taped but all the panels are cut uh we will fight with tacking it in play or getting it tacked up and then also just dealing with all the welding there's a lot of panels to weld and it should go okay once we get it tacked in um tacked together and whatever so here we go um we'll see what happens i mean i think this video will come up friday morning eh, friday afternoon something like that so um we'll see what happens um and you know essentially uh, we've got some welding to do on it we've got a little bit more fitment we'll have to get a um we'll have to get some mounting points on it and stuff like that uh, I'm waiting for uh, one part to come in, which is the tip over valve. And then we also have a, um, a few other things to do as far as like locating where the, um, the fuel feed pickups will be like the sump in the back, which is no big deal. We'll just get some holes popped in there and hopefully get a bunch of welding done this weekend. So that's the plan. And um, that should hopefully uh, get us a lot further along in the fuel cell than we were. Um, honestly, we were shooting the, the current tank that was in the car um, was three, just over three gallons. Um, we actually pulled the bar out. We moved the tank way up in the vehicle and we did that to make some clearance for some other things and also to clean up some tin work that's been under the car that I wanted to clean up for a while. So um, it just hung down too low. It wasn't very good for aero. So I want to improve that in the future. I'm not going to focus on that right now, but since we needed a new tank for drag week, 
Um, you know, we more than doubled the size. Uh, we're in a much better spot. Like we could not do drag week with a three gallon cell. There's no way, but with close to eight gallons, I think we're in a much better spot. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this video, um, get it edited and wrapped up and then get it posted for you guys tomorrow so I can make more stuff um, to get posted uh, next week. And yeah, we'll hopefully have uh, a bunch of work done. I just got 70 pounds of aluminum today, so that'll be a fun video too. Um, and that's actually what I should be working on, but instead, <laughs> instead I made a voiceover. So anyway, have a good day guys. See ya.